I spent all day yesterday unboxing, setting up, and reviewing the Panda Large Khaki from RBM Outdoors, and I am so excited to share this with you. It is honestly the most flawless tent I have ever seen in my life. And after you watch this video, I cordially invite you to follow the link in the pinned comment below and use code NathanRBM to get a discount on your very own. The Panda Large is a four-person tent that rolls in at 112 pounds off the truck. That includes the box, the tent, transparent windows and front wall, rain fly, hand pump, ropes, pegs, and storage bags. The pump actually comes rolled up inside the tent inside the bag. And all the accessories fit in the small carry bag to make it easy to transport. One thing I absolutely love about this company is that the storage bags they provide are top quality. They know these tents are heavy and they've designed these bags to handle the weight. There are two long straps on the sides, two short straps on the ends, heavy duty buckles, and adjustable straps to hold the whole package tight. And these straps are wide, so they're not gonna be cutting into your hands, and I love that. There's also a flap to tuck in around your tent and a drawstring around the perimeter of the top to pull it even tighter. The tighter you can make this bundle when you pack it back up, the easier it's gonna be to transport it. And this bag provides every way possible to make this package as compact as it can possibly be. Taking the tent out of the bag, you'll notice that the bag itself is much larger than the tent. This is the part where everybody tells me you'll never get it back in the bag. But as you can see, this bag has tons of space and I'm gonna prove you wrong at the end of the video. There was also a little unexpected surprise at the bottom of the bag. A drawstring bag containing a hammer and multi-tool. This is awesome and I don't know what all this stuff is for yet, but aside from offering several things that you might need on your camping trip, I'm sure this will come in handy when we're setting up our tent. It doesn't mention the bonus tool, but inside the bag you will also find sewn in a sheet describing the package contents and the setup and takedown. Before we even go any farther, I can tell you I am loving this color and you can already feel the quality materials used in this tent. When you're ready to set up your tent, make sure your area is clear of any debris, sticks, stones. Take it out of the bag, and it has two tension straps around it. Remove those and begin to unroll. This tent is like the gift that keeps on giving. Not only is the hand pump wrapped up in the tent, but I found two other bags in here as well. We'll set those aside and come back to them in a minute. While you're unrolling your tent, pay attention to which end is which. You want to make sure you get it positioned correctly with the front in the front, the back in the back. It took me a little time, but I eventually figured it out, and next time I will know the back is the end with the small zipper, and the front is the end with a zipper all the way across. Now, before we go any farther, let's take a look at what's in these other bags. We've already seen this one. This one is obviously the pump. And like everything else, this has its own drawstring bag as well. The smallest bag has an extra nozzle and a PVC air tent repair kit. And the larger bag has 34 stakes in it. So now I need to see what came in the other small bag because I never opened that. I just assumed it was stakes. So this bag has 12 more stakes and six guy lines. We are set with stakes, guys. And in case you're not familiar, familiar with the term, these are guy lines. They're also tie downs, they're ropes, whatever you want to call them. Some people call them guy wires, and if you call it that, you're going to get in an argument with somebody who thinks you're trying to say guide wires. So let's go ahead and get our little hammer out, and we'll grab four stakes, and we'll put one in at each corner of the tent to hold it in place while we inflate it. Now just like with the Koala 7, you'll see that there is a nozzle at this corner and at the back corner as well. One of these needs to be completely closed before you inflate the tent. Screw that right in there. And these nozzles do have a bleeder valve in there, so this part also needs to be put on tight. Now, when I inflated the Koala 7, I used the hand pump. It got the job done, but it was a lot of work. So I immediately went inside, jumped on Amazon, and invested in an electric air pump. Comes with its own hose and different attachments. It has an inflate and deflate. Connect one end to the inflate. Choose the correct nozzle, which I believe will be this one. Screw that into place. Turn it on. Connect it to the nozzle on the tent and hit start. It took about three and a half minutes to completely inflate with the electric pump. I had to walk around and kind of unfold it as it inflated. With the hand pump, it is possible, but it would take at least twice that amount of time, if not more. I know that when I did it, I had to take a lot of breaks. I am so excited seeing this thing completely inflated. First of all, I absolutely love the color. This is the Panda Large. They make it in a couple of different colors. This is the khaki. It's not quite olive. It's more like a beige with a little bit of 
screen in it. It almost looks like an army surplus tent, and it reminds me of the old show MASH. So I've got everything closed and zipped up here so that I can show you this tent in every which way that it can possibly be presented. You can already see right here that there are two small windows on the side and two enormous windows on the top. Let's just go ahead and take a full walk around here for a minute. We have the front closed up here. This tent is 10 by 13 by 7 feet tall. You can see that there are two small windows over here. There's a stove jack on this part of the roof. As we come around the back, you can see there are two more windows here, and there is another door. So this is kind of questionable what is actually the front and the back of this tent. I thought that this was the back, but this actually zips open and is a full doorway that you can walk in. With the logo on the front bottom here, which I absolutely love, that tells me that this is actually the front. But honestly, it doesn't even matter because both ends open up. You can go in one end or the other. Now, as we come back around to this side here, you can see why we have so many stakes included with this tent. We have three of these black tension straps on each side. Each has a D-ring for a stake that holds this out like this. Likewise, we have two on the back and two on the front. So that makes eight straps all the way around. We've also got more D-rings around the perimeter on the bottom for stakes. And then we've got three guy lines on each side and one in the front and one in the back. So that explains why we have so many stakes. And that is just another reason why I love this company. You buy a tent from RBM, you're gonna get a quality tent, everything you need to use it, and then some. I also wanna point out that there is a small vent on both the front and the back. You take this little thing here, it's got a bit of Velcro on it, open this up and it sticks to another piece of velcro right in there and that holds it open to kind of vent the inside of the tent so the first thing i want to do is open up the front here and show you how it looks with the screen in place there you go that's how it looks with the front open and the screen in place it looks like a little cabin i absolutely love this thing you just unzip the two panels in the front roll them up and use the toggle to hold it in place and i love how when you pull this down it kind of finishes it off and makes it look nice. We can also completely open up that screen so the front is just wide open. And there you go, now the front is just completely wide open. That lets all the air in you can imagine. And just like with the canvas panels, you simply unzip this, roll it up, and it has its own toggle right down here to hold it open. Now it is completely dark inside right now because I have everything closed up, but let's go ahead and open some more of these windows. Now once you have those big windows unzipped, you actually have to come inside there are screens in place in here that you have to unzip in order to access these to roll them up. Now that those are open, you can either zip up the screens inside and leave those closed, or you can simply roll them up and have them wide open. And that lets in a heck of a lot of air. <laughs> this is how it looks with those wide open, along with the front. Yep, you got one serious breeze with all that open. Now, of course, we have these screens on each side here. You can unzip the canvas from the inside. And that opens them right up all the way around. And if you don't want to just let them hang there, you can roll these up and close them with the toggle. There you go. All four of those are open, letting in even more of a breeze. And we're still not done because we can go to each of these and open the screen and then they will all be completely open. And of course, these work the same way as in the inside. Just roll them up and use the toggles to hold them up. And that's how that looks completely open. Now we can also come in here and open up the back windows and door. The windows on each side have zippers. They just simply zip down and around. And those fall down, and that's how you open those. And just like the others, roll them up from the bottom, and they get held up with toggles. This is how it looks from the back with the windows open and the door closed. Here's the other vent I was telling you about right up at the peak here. And we can unzip the door, roll that up and toggle it just like in the front. And there we have screens open all through this end. And of course we can open the screen as well. Just zips up along the bottom, along the bottom. And that is a door, it's big enough to walk right through, then roll it up and toggle it on the sides just like the other. Are you guys tired of hearing the word toggle yet? So here is how it looks completely open from the front, and here is how it looks completely open from the back. 
I keep calling it the back, but I'm pretty sure this is the front right here. So something else to point out out here, there is a little zipper here. If we open it, your hand goes straight inside. That is for like an electrical cord. You can see there's a zipper on the inside as well. You can close it or open it. We also have an air relief valve over here. We have a small mesh pocket over here. We have another small mesh pocket up here in the front or back, whatever. And then we have the stove jack right over here. Now I have the Caminus M stove, which is the big one. There is one called a Caminus S, which is more suited for this one right here, just because it's a smaller stove and this is a smaller tent. The Caminus M would be better for use in the Koala 7, which is the other tent that I bought. It's a little bit bigger than this one. But if we back up and go outside of this one, you can see where this is one big room in this tent. There is no divider in between here to make this into two rooms. It's just one big room. If I haven't said it already, this tent is 10 feet wide, 13 feet long, seven feet tall, and has 129 square feet of usable space. That is a lot of space in here, guys. That is plenty of room to have a king-size inflatable bed over here, maybe even two queen or full. I'm not sure if two queens would fit in here side by side, but definitely two full. You've got room for tables and chairs and lights and your stove over here. And like I keep saying, guys, this is quality material. This is a thick canvas that makes up the tent itself. You've got a PVC waterproof floor in here, and it's what's called a tub floor, where the flooring actually comes up about six inches around the perimeter of the whole tent, so that if the water should happen to pool under you, it's not going to start soaking the tent and working its way in. So we have two more things to do here, guys. That is to put these plastic windows in place and show you how it looks with that. And then we're going to toss the rain fly over top and see how it looks with that. So these pieces are PVC, they are crystal clear. We've got one for each of the large windows, and then we've got one full large panel that I believe goes up here on this end. Okay, yes, this is the correct end here. If you come up here and look, we've got a zipper that goes the full perimeter around this whole doorway here. First, we're gonna put the side windows in. There's a strip of Velcro along the top and a zipper that goes all around the rest of the perimeter. It's the same for both of these. You access this from the inside and you do have to have your screens open. All right, those are in place. They weren't too bad to get attached. Like I said, there's Velcro across the top. There's a zipper around the whole perimeter up to here. Connecting it to the pull tab up here was a little difficult, but as you can see, it definitely can be done. And I'll also take tell you that these windows are very lightweight, so they were very easy to hold in place while you're zipping and velcroing across the top. The velcro does take a little bit of pulling and tugging to get in place, and if for any reason you wanted to, with these windows in place, you still can close the mesh screen. It has its own zipper, as does the plastic window and the canvas cover. I mean, I'm telling you, this thing is decked out. And you know what else? One of these cool little things is going to go on my keychain. So the last thing to do is put the plastic on the front here and again that goes inside there's a zipper that goes around the entire perimeter to hold it into place and that was very easy to do the bottom connects on the bottom right the top connects on the bottom left zip it all the way around and it's in place and this also has a doorway so there we have our plastic on the front we have our plastic big windows on the sides. If it's raining, you can have those closed up as well as the front and you can just be inside cozy watching the rain fall down on the windows. And speaking of rain, we have one more thing to do, guys. We need to put the rain fly on. Now, even though this rain fly is absolutely enormous, I learned from the Koala 7 that one person can get this on. You just have to figure out which is which side, ball part of it up in your hand, throw it over the top, go to the other side and pull it down, then work your way around getting it properly positioned. And let me show you something, guys. You can see that this completely covers the tent, not the front, not the back, but it completely goes from one side touching the ground up over to the other side touching the ground. And the thing that I'm really excited about this is that this one actually has a stove jack on it. There is a stove jack on the rain fly. Right under here on the tent itself is the stove jack. It Velcros closed. 
just like everything else that rolls up and closes with a toggle stove pipe comes out this little hole here and even if it's raining and you have your rain fly on the rain fly itself has a stove jack and you guessed it that also rolls up and ties with a toggle the other cool thing about this is there is velcro around the inside of this so where we pulled up the cover on the inside, the rain fly is actually velcroed to that underneath. And it is at this time that you can break out the rest of your stakes and stake your rain fly in place. Or, yes, you can roll up the whole side on each side of the rain fly. And there are toggle ties all along the tent to hold it up. Guys, this is an absolutely amazing tent. I don't have one complaint about this tent. Yeah, that's right. I have been out here all day long. I have shown you this tent in every which way it can be presented. I have seen every crack and crevice of this tent inside and out, and I have zero complaints. I don't even have anything to say about what I would do to improve this tent. I mean, everything on it is absolutely perfect. The Panda Large Khaki Inflatable Tent from RBM Outdoors. I highly recommend this tent. And as I said at the beginning, I will have a link below to their website. And if you use the code NathanRBM, you can get a discount on your very own. And now, as promised, before it gets any darker, it is time to put this thing away and get it packed up in that bag. Everything's back in the bags. 